Coming up with names, acronyms, Queen. This is all my headphones. Let me turn this down. My bad. Y'all jump in here quick. Shoot, I just finished eating dinner. Late as hell. I went all day without eating. I was just busy as hell. I was like, man, let me eat one more time before I go to sleep. What up, Dre? A name for what? Good good looking, Frederick. For this nonprofit I'm trying to come up with. It's it's about traveling and exploring the world, having fun, you know, doing all that dream stuff, being free. Living, crossing borders, exercising that passport. So nonprofit, I'm coming up with like Thrive Foundation, the Thrive Foundation, something like that. I like Thrive. I like the feeling of Thrive. I like the whole concept behind thriving. What up, make money? Slapping that six nine, man. I, I like to I would like to jump on the bandwagon of haters, but the dude's style is just funky. I mean that shit is retarded. Even that other song, Billy. Oh my gosh, like who the fuck would have ever thought that shit would have sound cool? Man, that shit is going. Man, at first I heard it, I was like, eh, eh. then I heard it again, I'm like, eh. I heard it again. I'm like, ooh, this dude is ill. What up, Will? Big William. That's a different William. That ain't the same William as the Wallace family, William. Yeah, this dude. The dude doing pretty good. I just think he got a big mouth. He just talked too much. You know who he kind of remind me of? You remember that dude that... That, I don't remember his name, but he bought that drug and then raised the price from like $3 up to like $750 a pill. And then when he was all in the media, he was just talking shit, just running his mouth when he should have just been quiet. That's what he reminded me of. He just talked a little bit too much. You know, that, that dude Pac used to talk too much, but at least he knew when to talk. The one and only. He talked like that because he's back by one of the biggest bloods. But that dude be on the road, though. He was in on the road with only five cats. I don't know. Check this out. Instead of the term nonprofit, I was thinking of something like Nomad. I like Nomad, 
but no UBI, universal basic income. Now, Nomad, I like Nomad, but Nomad is, you know, the meaning of Nomad is a traveler with no home that basically just stays on the road for, you know, years at a time. Not as a name. Oh, okay. So, yeah, definitely the Nomad is definitely like rubs hand in hand. Uh, I was more or less thinking of. Like, yeah, definitely a nomad for three months, you know, to Americans, that's a long time, especially like to inner city youngsters, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, to anybody, three months is a long time to be on the road, but that shit work. What's good, Alex? I'm on my phone, so I don't get a, uh, I can't see everybody who pops in, who pops out. But, uh, yeah, I came up with this today, Thrive, and I was like, man, I was going to go to sleep on it and then wake up tomorrow and see how I feel about it. But <clears throat> I was like, fuck it. Let me, uh, let me throw it out there right quick and see, see, see what people think about it. What's good, Corey? All right. Freedom flights. I like that. <laughs> freedom flight <laughs> you know that was oh that's one of the objectives because it's i was coming up with the term liberation like the video love and peace a hey, much love i appreciate that so yeah good looking good looking Hey, what does likes do anyway? I thought that only worked work well for like if you uh like monetizing. It gets you paid if you monetize it only. But I do plan to, to monetize for periods of a time just for like fundraising periods for like maybe like a three week fundraising period. But I'm working on this paperwork. I'm gonna send in this fictitious business name just so I can just start, you know, checking bases. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I gotta start getting into it. Solar. Acronym so that they can. Okay, so I did come up with a little acronym for Thrive. But. My ass forgot. I couldn't come up with nothing for H. It was like um, traveling, um, rapidly improving visions through education, something like that through Thrive. Like you're right. We was looking at one um, company yesterday that had a similar idea, and they were saying that they. Um, what were they called? I can't even remember what the fuck they're called right now. But anyway, I'll, I'll I'll find them here in a minute. But uh, it was a good little foundation. They had the same ideas. Oh, it was called Flight. It was called Flight. I can't remember what it stood for. But um, it was this. It was a similar concept, but he dealt with younger people. It's good overall brings up your videos on the searches and things of the nature. Good for the channel. Yeah. Also think you have more dislikes than likes. You can't monetize, so it helps overall. Okay. Okay. Good looking. Yeah, that's what uh homeboy was saying. That Bitcoin dude. That big connect dude. <laughs> I'll be watching this video sometime just to so I know what not to do. Shit. Harmony. Damn, Turbo, I ain't seen you in a minute. Traveling helps rapidly. So, yeah, yeah, helps. Okay. Right. Huh. Helps rapidly. 
improves visions and education. Traveling helps rapidly improves visions and education. And you know, to be real with you, like I used to tell people, yo, you need to go to school, you need to go to college, you know. But then I realized, man, college is hard. What up, Goldberg? What up, who man? Man, we just coming up with this name. So Goldberg, I'm thinking about Thrive. You mean that funny dude, huh? He hilarious. Yeah, right, right, right. The dark-skinned Jamaican dude. That dude is ridiculous. He's like, I need more likes. I get I'm getting more dislikes than likes. Hit the like. Stake it till you break it. Hey, that shit did break. That Falcon coin just broke. And he was all over that Falcon coin. I didn't. That shit was a joke. I, I tried it. I tested it. I seen what happened when you try to retrieve your money. I'm like, fuck that shit. That shit is too good to be true for them to give you all that extra. Hell no, man. Come on. I already went through that. He's going to have to buy some likes. They got the bot. They got the bot on me, man. The bot is putting dislikes on all of my videos. I cannot make YouTube money. <laughs> that shit was... Yeah, that's his name, BZ. He cool, though. I mean, he cool. I thought he was cool until he was going hard in the Falcon coin. Since he was going so hard in the Falcon coin, I'm like, man, anybody can see. That's like running into a truck. Don't run into that truck, dog. Hit the brakes. Man, that dude Drake just be so consistent with his shit. I feel bad for that dude, Lil Wayne. I was I just found some new Lil Wayne tracks. Mm -hmm. That's all. But this shit right here, I just like how that shit start. I mean like I will hop in. Six thousand, six got. Yeah, my man Bell get on the on the Falcon coin. Man, that shit was embarrassing. But still can't figure out why he act like. Man, he just be trying to have fun, you know. I think on the real, because I was in that situation. I was realizing that in order to keep the views up in the thousands. You got to, like, talk about, like, um, relevant things. Like, BitConnect was, was a relevant topic in the Bitcoin community for a long time. And it still kind of is. And that's why. So he's still riding that, um, that wave. What's cracking, crypto? Man, day was cool. Day was cool. Went by quick. Got busy. Check out Mike Jenkins. He just dropped a new EP. Who's that? Mike Jenkins. What up, C's? What's good? Stake it till you break it. Then hold me diet. Yeah, right. I ain't seen none of his new videos since the Falcon coin and took a dump. I'm sure he talking shit. Richard Hart, a lot today. Man, he drops much OG crypto knowledge. Man, I don't even want to listen to no one's crypto talk these days, to be honest with you. Oh, a rapper, okay. Mike Jenkins. I'll, just, I'll right, check him out. But man, that crypto talk be... That should be fucking... Kind of stressing me out. It do. You know why? Because for every good thing you hear, you hear, you know, a couple criticisms too. Actually understand. Well, that's good. Well, you know, actually I took freaking networking, IT networking, uh, uh, stress out on like, if you should invest in those 
in those coins. And if you do want to invest in those coins, then you got to pull Bitcoin from somewhere. And I really don't want to invest any more Bitcoin. I really just want to hold Bitcoin from now on. But so then I learned, you start learning about more cryptos and they all sound good. But there's so many schemes out there, man. There's so many schemes. Uh, steady bug. Got your mind blown yesterday, huh? Well, wait, wait, wait. Homeboy, steady. Got my mind blown about what? I don't remember what possibly you could have got my mind blown about. But I had fun yesterday. I had fun. How's the weather out there? Still in the 40s? In the Is it in the 40s? Nah, I think it was only in the 40s one day this year. I don't think it's been colder than 58. Our nights are about in the low 60s right now. That's, that's like this is this is it's probably like 50 low 60s right now. Right now it's probably low 60s. Because he really believes in Bitcoin. But he was talking about the Chinese. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I guess so. You know, Chinese. The Chinese want to be the best. You know, they want to be the best. Scared money don't make money. And that's why I'm holding Bitcoin. You know, but you, you got to jump in these ICOs when you... Cause they kind of fun, you know. They kind of exciting. You could call it diversifying if you want. But uh, I'm trying to focus on the next step. So I feel like, like I got to take it to the next step from Bitcoin, like. Like Bitcoin is something for the future, right? I really feel like in the future it is it's gonna be more more tangible. Something that we use often, like deep, deep, deep. So Crypto Daily is the most entertaining crypto YouTube tuber. I got I oh, I think I know about that dude. I'm not talking about here in Jersey to get out there keep holding BCC 14,000 this month it's, I mean BT it's, it, I think so I mean you know the good thing is I'm not even dependent on it which can you know what when you when you look at the percentages across the board there are coins where you could have made a lot of money but that shit is like a crap shoot You need 10 big, yeah, 10 Bitcoin to be nice to be whole. I had 10 Bitcoin before. I did. And I freaking trucked it off. They just smoked it. So what I'm looking to invest in some U.S. cryptocurrency companies. All right, well, shoot. We got to put this, this one together. Watch the BTC denunciant. The maniots. Man, the, that's one thing that you never know what's going to happen. Is what the, uh, the government, what the government's going to do. <laughs> and and that's 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 what's important is just to have different avenues like i tell people who got property in other countries like man i wish i could have gone to other countries you know what our our i didn't know thorn was live i tried to get thorn when it was in the ico stage and i couldn't get it Let's see. 
You know, I heard some bad shit about Litecoin recently where they were supposed to get on a debit card and they didn't get on there. And they didn't say nothing, so it kind of looked like a fraud. There's still more money to be made. Just look at the light pan, light coins, debit cards coming. See, it was supposed to come already. So it's like, I heard somebody describe it as they could be scamming. You know, and, and the way how, how shady things is right now in the crypto world, I, I just felt like, you know what it is? It's like, you got them, you could increase your returns, but the profitability margin just decreases. So it's like, if you want the highest level of profitability, profitability you might as well just hold Bitcoin. I mean, it ain't going to be the highest returns, but it's going to be more guaranteed. These ICOs don't be about shit. You know, the thing is, is they talk a good game. The ICO freaking workers like, OK, if they have a board, are they real board members? Can you contact somebody? It's just. Is there is there a real CEO? Is he using his real name? It's just like, man, that shit is just too... Sh Do they have a real project? Are they just talking about a project? Bitcoin will make that big hard for me to make it too seriously. Charlie Lee. I don't know if Litecoin is scamming. What's up, Mugabe? I ain't seen you in a minute, player. So, man, I see a bunch of people I ain't seen in here for a while. I just got to let you guys know where my mind is headed. Uh, Jake, I don't think you know about it. Um, I'm trying to get into a, a nonprofit. I'm trying to build a nonprofit. Um, I'm very thankful for the crypto community. The crypto community is important because it opened my mind up to a bunch of things and a bunch of new avenues where I could take this channel. So I'm thinking about investing in young people, people between the ages of 18 and 25 ish and um, basically collecting uh, sponsors and then dumping a hundred percent of that sponsorship over into travel so that way I can find courageous leaders that's ready to rule the world and once they get in that position I can provide all the tools in terms of financial support to fund them a hundred percent to do this to to do to go on a trip uh, I imagine, told them, now I imagine that it costs, well, that's a good age. You ready? Each person is going to cost about $2,000 for 70 days with the math that I did. Right? So with that $2,000, a person should be able to experience unlimitless conditions and places and reasonings and you know when you're traveling in one day you could be in situations where you're so happy where you laugh jump around and play and then in that same day you could have been in another situation where you cry you know and it's like those raw emotions is, and, and, and learning is, is what I feel I missed as a as a young man and if I was able to get up and get out of here younger than than the age that I was my life would be a lot different nobody reads the white papers I think when Bitcoin go up just everything gonna go up so 
I know y'all just love the Bitcoin and love all the cryptos, and I do too. But when it comes down to it, I got to I gotta start to build a, a legacy, a foundation, something that's going to give back to this to these whack ass streets that we live in, you know what I'm saying? It's like we got to liberate the minds of tomorrow's leaders because we're going to be in trouble if we don't. You know, we're going to have to rely on Uncle Sam's kids because they the only ones freaking going to school. And then everyone who grow up liberal go to these conservative ass schools and their whole mind just get reversed on everything that they learn. So, how often do you check the crypto prices? Oh, what up, Alex? You just got up in this mug. Man, I used to I used to check them way too much. But now I'm just like so busy because I'm already running a business every day. And then I'm trying to start this other one. And then I'm trying to maintain this, this crypto community right here. I was cracking blue. I ain't seen you in a while. I just finished pitching my my um you know my goal my new goal in the crypto space is to start this nonprofit. Uh, i came up with the name thrive today um i came up with the idea like two weeks ago but i've been trying to pitch it pitch it fine tune it figure out exactly where i want to go with it and then um you check yours every 30 minutes see that's what i mean by being stressed out like man I don't even check my email and I get freaking messages, text messages, and I don't even check my messages every 30 minutes. I'll get to them like every two hours and then I have to send out like two, three text messages at a time, you know, but checking prices, bunk, bunk gang, nigga, bunk gang, that's some whack, I can't do it, dude, that should, that should have had me stressed out, I just let it ride. You know, I just let it ride. Have you gotten someone for the design work for the nonprofit? Nah, I haven't. I'm actually, I have paid someone to do my website for the um, one million in one year website. And I, t I told him the hope on the project. So he actually has some money that he owes me. So more than likely, I'm planning to contact him and have him start to do the graphics. But if you got some ideas, I'll get the domain name and, you know, you just pull out your little, um, what is it, front page or, uh, I don't know, Dreamweaver. You know, I haven't made websites in years. Oh, yeah, I can definitely do photography. Well, I think Bridget... She might be one of the first uh, candidates. Um, and yeah, you will do a lot of photography. You will be the poster of the first run. So that's a lot on your shoulders. But I think you fully equipped and a leader who can do it. More exposure, the better. Your chances of getting a nonprofit. You know, I thanks Alex. It's, you know, at this point, like I can talk, talk, talk. I can have everybody rooting and giving me good advice, but I gotta put like a good ten steps. Bing, 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 bing. And once I get the, the documentation done, then I'll be able like to ask for money. But I just wanna try to do things right, you know. I want everybody to know, hey, this is serious. You know, this is real serious. You should make crypto debates on topics that are controversial. You know, this... That's fun. I get a lot of ideas on um, what type of... Um, uh, content to do. That's just, you know, it's just work. I almost bought a camera the other day. I'm going to get the Sony. The Sony MX100. Hey, for sure, William. Man, I'll take you up. I'll take you up on that offer. No bullshit. 
and you get yeah, WordPress. That's the word I was looking for. What I say? Front page. Thrive. Teach, help, reach out, invite, volunteer, educate. I like that. Teach, help, reach out, invite, volunteer, educate. There's, there's, I went with traveling. Oh, wait. Traveling and then someone threw in uh, uh, make money through in helps rapidly improve visions and education but you know we got to fine tune this thing so i got to write all this down hold on hold on i'm falling behind i like the volunteer though because when you're overseas Volunteering in rice fields and different stuff like that is fun. Just, yeah, you know you got it, Bridget. Um, WordPress is the easiest SEO firms. Yeah. Oh, that's what you do. That's right. Make money. Don't you do um, ICOs all day? Check out. Excellent web design. All right, Turbo. Five. I think I, I checked out five. I, I tried. I was gonna make a website with five for my first website. What you say the first step will be? Making the name. So first we make the name, and then we do an article. We gotta write an article and send to the state. Just so we could become a, um, a LLC. And then once you become an LLC, then you can figure out your. Um, then you got to have like board members or something. But you could put anybody in there just to start off. KDN, what up? Ain't seen you in a while. Everybody's up. It's way duper than mine. Wait, your camera RN is way duper than mine. What you mean the RN? All right, for sure, do that, Will. Ooh, I look, I look forward to that. You could just take my email down and uh, send it to my email address. Wait, how did? Hey, Blaze, somehow, somehow your your message became restricted. I don't know what I did to it. My bad. I like the one you came up with, that salad. I, I mean, it's it's something. I think for the main point, as of right now, we got the Thrive. Um, I was thinking about throwing foundation at the end. I'm not sure. Right. But we could constantly fine tune it and change words around. And yeah, the most important, I, was, I looked at a bunch of nonprofits out there and a lot of their names don't represent what they do. So you think within the next year you'll be ready? Hell no. I'm thinking this year. I'm thinking within a couple months. Um... Because I don't think it's okay right now. I don't think it's um, that expensive to where you need years to to prepare. I, I think this is cheap. I think this is, uh, I don't even think you need to save up. You know, that's one thing dope is how I envision it. Because what you just said, I need to save up, is like, 90% of people's issues is that's what they always say. I need to save up. I need to I used to say that. But when it comes down to it, 
you don't need to save up. You just got to give up. You got to give up everything. So sometimes you got to sell what you got. And, um, but my goal is to fund it a hundred percent to where all you got to pay for is your bills. When you come back, your bills, when you leave, Oh, okay, you deleted it. I was like wondering what the hell happened to your message. I was trying to read it and it disappeared. Five is a platform where you pay the free death. Yeah, I seen that design. It's like, I call it a drag and click, basically, where you cut and paste and you make your design and they got um, design set up. Government grants are fully available. I seen that once you're a nonprofit, you just apply for all these different grants, grants, grants. You know, I learned a little bit about it. You can pay people who are good at it and they just apply for grants for you all day. But, you know, government money is a little funny. So I'd like, I think we can do it just with the crypto family uh, itself. It's, it's K-E-N-N-619 at gmail so like with the um, like for example crypto community are ballers like I mean of course everybody's you know living paycheck to paycheck but it's nothing for you to take a Bitcoin or a little piece of Bitcoin 0.01 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, something, and just shoot it over to a Bitcoin wallet. And that's just so much easier to build funds, I think. I have a feeling. I could be wrong. And my mom said I'm a little optimistic. But um, I have a feeling that I'll be able to raise enough funds to send three people which will be about six thousand dollars in one month. In one month, I mean, I could be wrong. I might get only four thousand. I might get only two thousand. I don't know, but I'll aim for six. And if I get two, then hey, we still rolling. Wait, how to have business techs reach out to others and make a sustainable foundation? You know, it's just like I, it's just all about modeling after other foundations that made it, you know, but I, I feel that this is a guarantee. Once the community sees one person document their story, their journey, their adventure around the world for 70 days. Everybody's going to be at awe. Everybody's going to be rooting. Everyone's going to fall in love. Everybody's going to be rooting for the character to win, to come home, you know, with all the knowledge that they were ever seeking and then come home and not only, you know, just come home, but come home and thrive. I think that's the whole point is thrive, to come home and thrive. Could we do an ICO? You know, that's I've been hearing that over and over. Uh, do a ICO for the nonprofit. That dude make money with crypto. Man, that's his specialty. That's his specialty. I mean, I need to seriously, seriously, seriously think of that. People has been saying that. And I don't know if it's because it's like the whole ICO thing on the blockchain is freaking, you know. A little over my head but I need to seriously consider that I'm not checked out the, I'm not checked out the site yet so let's think that's just true. what if they run out of money while they're traveling abroad good question so I'm gonna be there for them there's budgets there's also uh, consequences um, but one thing's for sure, the only thing that's going to cause them to run out of money will be drugs and alcohol. 
So, I mean, you just got to control your drugs and alcohol. But if they do run into those situations, I would have to prepare a safe house somewhere for them to drop back to if that becomes an issue. Especially an ongoing issue. If that continues to go on, you got to get back to Bangkok, get back to the safe house, get back to the big city, wherever. Document it on Steam It. Yes, yeah, Steam It will be a good platform to raise money. So there's so much inspiration that can happen to, you know, this person just by like building traffic to the YouTube page, building traffic to the Steam It page, building traffic to whatever platform they choose to thrive on. Um, of course, they they will have they'll be. Uh, responsible for for uploading content to the main page because that's where most of the sponsors is going to be tuning into but there's many different uh avenues you can go with it but most importantly if the enthusiasm to contribute or at least document the story is is is, is vital you know because everybody wants to see you know, and it's tough too. It's tough to document your 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 steps. Like you gotta like put yourself out there. But um, when you got a, a strong following rooting you on, then it becomes um, a lot a lot easier to do it. I'm still interested. It's just 2018. Also a big year for me. I'm making moves as well. And that's, that's you know, that's one of the biggest issues about doing one of these long sacrifice trips is that we have too much in the way. Like our lives are too complicated to, to leave. Like we can barely leave for a week. Just imagine a month or two months or three months. It's just like very, very tough. But I personally feel like it's necessary, you know, and it's and it's an experiment. It's an experiment. It's, it doesn't mean that it's right. I just feel like when I was traveling, I would meet like Europeans from Australia, from Europe, from, you know, they call it the West, anywhere that's, you know, developed. And they get to travel, you know, a lot of times they get out of, out of high school and they travel for like a year long, nine months, six months. It wasn't uncommon to hear a person saying that they were on a year long traveling adventure. And when I hear that, I'm just like, whoa, that's pretty freaking impressive. You know, all due respect. I mean, you going to be, you going to go home and be a winner when you're done with this adventure. For sure. So, that Thrive. Man, I feel like I got a lot of good positive feedback on the Thrive. Um, I seen this video. It's a documentary on um, Thrive. It's, with some dude who I kind of got lost in the documentary as it as it went on for two three hours, but um, it's all about taking the the resources that we have and and thriving with those, and we all should be able to thrive with those with those resources. Hey, Bridget, you might get overseas and, and see all of the, the music personalities out there and you start to think, hey, I can do a band out here. You know, have less stress, make decent money, and live a high quality of life. I mean, you just ain't going to be no millionaire, but, you know, you might be a thousandaire and, you know, thousandaires. The money goes a long way out there. 
And when I say out there, it just, it's just generic for underprivileged countries, you know, underdeveloped. You know, I'm kind of about that underdevelopment versus that overdevelopment. It just it just feels a little more comfortable. It's just easier to travel, budget travel. Money follow those who thrive for sure. Well, you know, it's all subjective. You know, sometimes people don't want money. Other countries do that as foreigners, exchange students. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate it, Alex. You know, the exchange students is is dope, is dope. And and I think by people who never got out the country, who never think about going out the country, who will become um, you know, motivated to to you know, going to school abroad or, you know, being teachers. You know how many young college kids I met that was teachers like in Vietnam? I remember this dude, he was a teacher. His name was Jonathan. He's on my Facebook, friend, And he was with this white girl. She was from like somewhere in the Midwest and they were drunk, but they were on already. And I'm like, you guys are on. He's like, <laughs> Hey, you and his eyes were rolling, rolling, rolling. He's like, You want a pill? And I'm like, Um, what type of pill? And he's like, Ecstasy. And I I never did ecstasy. I did before, but just a little bit because I was scared. So I'm like, all right, yeah, let me try it. And he's like, It's 20 bucks, but in equivalent to Dong. Dong is Vietnamese money. And I'm like, damn, that's that's like America prices, he goes, but it's good. I can't get it no cheaper. I'm like, all right, let's do it. So he goes and all secret, brings it back. Boom, I take it. And I am just on the whole night. I had to take off my shirt. We jumping around the bar to bar. Money is an oxymoron. Yeah, I agree. But then uh, I, I was like, dang. You teachers are crazy. Teachers is crazy. Did you ever do? Yeah, I did some DT, DMT. I did it in a pill. Wait, DMT, that's the one you smoke. Nah, 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 nah. I'm down. I mean, I'm, I'm a fool. I do a lot of things I'm not supposed to do. Why are you doing it? But the good thing is I go to sleep. I know when to stop. I don't, I don't fucking, and I don't binge. Yeah, I binged as a freaking young man. When I was 21, 22, I binged. I tear two nights apart. I mean, I didn't even care. I'll take two nights and make them one. Three days, make it one. Binge. Yeah, that's bad. But not no more. Hell no. Hell no. I go to sleep around 12 o'clock every night. I'll be straight. No more binging, son. But a shit, I'll take a blast of DMT. The homie Zeke in this mud. What up, Zeke? Big Zeke is a G. So, hey, Zeke, Zeke is from L.A., actually. That dude Zeke knows. That dude Zeke been robbed. I think he said four times, one time in front of his house, and he's from like around the corner. But it's a bunch of black folks over there that's just grimy. Like they don't give a fuck. Like, man, they the ones that that be out on the street all night looking in the sky and shit. At gunpoint, yeah, man, that's that's crazy. He moved out of L.A. So, Zeke, I'm, I'm coming up with the nonprofit now. You might have heard me two times at my shop. Damn, that, that shit ain't no joke, dog. But we got to, like, steer these kids out these streets of L.A. So, I'm trying to do the nonprofit where they get to travel the world for three months. All-inclusive. Not everyone can control their addiction. Yeah, that's the problem. 
I'm worried you could be a bad influence on the youngsters. You know, that's not the first time I heard that, but weed is legal now, so that's like drinking alcohol. It's like a bar, so I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Everybody smoke weed already anyway, but in terms of doing drugs, I do drugs for fun. I don't do drugs on the internet, and I don't go buy them. It just happens, you know what I mean? I don't go. I don't go out. I don't wake up one day and be like, you know, I heard that new uh, DMT stuff. Uh, let me see if I can find it. No. But if somebody came through, like, yeah, I caught some of that new DMT stuff. <laughs> You want to try it? I'm going to be like, uh, what it do? <laughs> Let's Google it first. <laughs> and then I'll try it. Hey. Hell no, nah, LOL. Four times. I will be keeping one on me. I ain't never been. Yeah. You know, thank goodness me neither, dog. But that nigga Zeke just looked like he a baller, homie. That's why. That nigga looked like his pockets is that oh shit carrot in this mug south australia i gotta get back to work oh it's my lunch time oh lunch time where the hell you work at anyway all right bridget Stay cool. Do that. Hit me on the FB. That's the homie carrot. What's happening, dog? <laughs> hey, I heard about that DMT being an enlightened experience. Oh my god, since you admitted to doing that shit. Crypto, you're fucking like a cop. Oh my gosh. I have to block your ass. <laughs> Where am I? Anyone can have a strap legal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Zeke Zeke's up in the up in the Idaho. Hey, Zeke's the first one that that said that told me that guns keep you safe, and then backed it up with an answer that made sense. I'll be damned. Better get caught with that without any time. You can see, but man, that's right in front of Zeke's house. That nigga gonna be lighting people up in front of his kids. Yeah. Unlike anything I've had, man. Changed my perception on life. <laughs> hey, it be doing that too. I think crypto got mad and left. Hey, what's up? Is crypto still here? Oh, there we go. I smoke me, man. I just don't like seeing my friends addicted to coke every day. I ain't mad, bro. Good. Nah, I don't like seeing my friends addicted to coke either, but... <clears throat> you know, it's... Like, you, like someone says, some people have addictive personalities. That don't mean... Just because some people have addictive personalities, that don't mean I have to suffer. What contains DMT? Oh, and then you can like extract it from there. I seen this video on YouTube a couple years ago. These dudes extracting DMT and they like put it in the freezer or something.
Oh shit. I see my fingers do this. I thought it was a booty for a second. <laughs> Hey, I'ma roll up a blunt right quick. I'ma go get one. Hey, crypto, don't be running everybody around with your, uh, out with your police talk. All right. Oh, so crypto, did you hear the name? Yeah, that's that T Grizzly. All right, so the name and look, check out this name, carrot. It's called um. Uh, yeah, because he, you know, asking them police questions and stuff. Uh, Thrive. I got I got distracted by Dre. Uh, but it's called Thrive. Thrive Thrive Foundation. The Thrive Foundation. The Thrive Foundation. Dacian. Dacian. I'm kind of getting excited about that. The Thrive Foundation. LLC. Man, what y'all think about that tri that trippy red? I need to go get this blunt. Man, oh, you also in Australia? Oh, then you hella cool. I, what, are you from Melbourne? I like Melbourne. Hey, that's carrot. Carrot's from Australia. Oh, okay, Aladdin Day, wherever that's at. I'm gonna go get my Swisher right quick. I'll be right back. I'm gonna be crazy to see this go down from being here since it was our idea. Hey! And if you have somebody you wanna nominate, my boy, that needs to see the world. Shoot them. I'm gonna come up with the website, the name, the web, the, the YouTube page, everything, everything, everything. It's going down. Let me go get my swisher. I'll be right back. Donate that guac, homie. Hey, on the real though, like, like, the reason why I, I was like coming up with that one meal in one year idea, it wasn't so I could get guac. It was because I didn't want to take the money out because what am I going to do with the money? Oh, what? You 19? That fool, uh, Carrot is like the same age. Both of y'all young as fuck. <clears throat> you forgot your age. Man, that's crazy to hear a freaking 18 year old freaking young man tell me that he thinks that I'm gonna influence the kids in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> you little smart motherfucker. Oh man, this is strawberry. I do not like strawberries. I'm trying to nominate myself. <laughs> I need to expand my mind. Hey, you good, fam? If that's what you want to do, I got you. No doubt, my dude. The, the more willing you are, the more willing 
I want you to go. What? Uh, Crypto P90 just did a Falcon Coin video. Anyone got uh, P90 as they friend? Count my guap. And I ain't worried about no motherfucking guap. What I miss. Trippy Red got left off of God's plan. I went back to see if I missed some messages. You left Australia a long time ago. Oh, you don't live there no more? Where the hell you go? To Bali, to Indonesia. Man, this freaking um, video is crazy. Dude on top of the video and shit. <laughs> that nigga up in a palm tree. <laughs> J Rock killed that. That shit is hard. <laughs> uh. At first, I, like, this video looked just freaking weird to me. Just those scenes is just off. But then I'm like, man, that shit is actually fucking dope. The niggas did they fucking thing with this shit. They did they tinger like a singer. Oh shit, I remember from my. Oh shit, I. I went to the shop today. This I got this from the shop today. So I had to do it because I had got a hold of some extra money and I was by the shop and I had some extra time. Why the fuck are you gonna fuck with that wax? I do. I had that wax pin. It's cool. You know what it is though? I figured it out that I just like to breathe those swisher papers. That plain Jane, it's dope as fuck. What up, Cali Farmers? What's up, plain Jane? I don't even think I met Cali Farmers. What it be like, fam? Did you see my little cloning video or something? Cause I'm, I did, I, I didn't show the whole cloning um, process. But I just showed, you know, that I have some clone. How much is 5G's here? I spent 35 for this. 35. So, it just depends on the quality and then what store and what side of town. You out, KDN? Shoot, we was just about to fire this up. Have you tried Mega Wellness OG? Nah. 
Yeah, the tobacco buzz from the blunt. Yeah, it do. Hey, peace, KDN. Keep in touch, fam. Stay blessed, too, my dude. Man, I be having some nice-ass freaking friends, man. Like, I remember one day I was live driving, and one of the homies was like, Nigga, you need to put your seatbelt on. You tripping. So it's about the same here, cause 35 USD. Yeah, see, that's what I told you when you when you was telling me about the, the quarter pounds and you was saying that was high. I'm like, man. That was that 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 wasn't high. That was like right on the on the spot. Bro, I was going earlier and my plant died. How the fuck your plant gonna die, cuz? That's some noob shit. If your plant died. You didn't water that motherfucker. That's the only thing that's really gonna make a plant die besides like newt lock or some stupid shit like that. Is if you don't water it. It died in flower. Yeah, you dried it out. You didn't give it no water. 900 a QB US dollars is like, right. So 900 is a little high for a QP. Um, I'll say the cheapest a QP, you could probably get it for like seven. I mean, not the cheapest, but a good ballpark. Yeah, for seven in which. 700 US. So that'll probably be like 900 out there. Uh, newt lock. What's newt lock? Like when you freaking put extra nutrients in your shit. But, but even when you run out of nutrients, if you just give it plain water, it will absorb the nutrients from the water and it, you can get through anything. Yeah, but I don't even use nutrients. I do, I try to just use soil. What I do, I'll tell you what I do. ASAP preferred playing Jane's song, dope as fuck. All right, I'll check it out. Uh, I, uh, I do the, uh, the super soils. So what super soil is, is just basically a mixture of a bunch of <coughs> organic materials in the dirt. <coughs> and then I just use water. I mean, I'm not the best grower either though. I'm like a mediocre grower. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like a basic grower. You know? Yeah, this this shit is hard. Hum to Allah. I did a video with this song in the in the background. The one where I where I put where I had my grill in and shit. And I was running around this motherfucker acting stupid. That shit was fun. Yeah. It was the first time, so I ain't, Yeah, I don't know why your plant died, man. And they got the fangs on this grill. Time to have that bong with you. Yeah, I need to, I know motherfuckers like to see the bong. I'm gonna go get a, 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 a roar bong. I'm gonna get a roar bong. Go to Hollywood Boulevard. That's the only place I've seen them lately. Man, I was watching these dancing videos. They was dancing to this song today. Those motherfuckers. 
That shit was crazy if my fucking whole app froze again. All right, what'd you say? Man, we should connect at the Mardi Gras. Hell yeah. Annual stoner event. Oh, so like, what, what month is that? What is call it? The num the the nibbin. What month is oh so it, it happened already last month. Cause I think Mardi Gras was last month. What up that guy? How'd I get into HVAC? I think I needed some money. I was in um I got into HVAC, I was in I was in San Diego. And this is, I was, this is before I even went to college. And um, I needed a job and I was in these classes and this dude's like, yeah, we need help on our job. We got so much work and nobody to do it. I'm like, I need a job. And he got me a job. His name was Kevin in San Diego. I won't forget this dude. He was a weirdo though. But he got me on the job. And then I was making like $10 an hour or something. And then I was like, I was like, wait, $10 an hour? Wait, look at this. Little white girl booty. You always use a little white girl booty in your life. But, um, so, I've seen these dudes making, like, uh, like, 200 a day. I was like, I want to do what they doing. And he's like, you want to do what they doing? He's like, it's hard work. They make more money than me. I'm like, hell yeah. So, I was like, all right. Yeah. Now, I've never seen this shit, huh? Real nigga shit. Come on. Never mind. It was over. A little booty shaking, little white girl booty shaking. <clears throat> Wait. I had to get my eyes back to Taco Bell. <clears throat> do I think college was worth it? Yes, I do think college was worth it. I'll explain why. Little well, has me love too. Yeah, you're right. Um, so, yeah, I needed a job, so I got on a job. But I was in school the whole time. I never thought I'd continue doing the shit. But just opportunities presented themselves. So you asked me if I think school was worth it. Worth it? I'll say yeah, because... You don't, when you, when you take your general education, you learn a little bit about everything. You learn about science. Science is like one of the most important subjects to learn because it teaches you the bare necessities of thinking, thinking critically, the science, the scientific theory. I mean, if you can master the scientific theory, you will be a better person in general. You'll be able to take criticisms. You'll be able to refine your ideas and and just be all around better. So um, I seriously believe that education makes each person better. And then at the end of the day, if you say you move out the country, if you move out the country with a degree, homie, you're like a star. You would get a job anywhere out the country with a degree. Like America pumps out more lawyers than any other the country. I think. I heard a statistic, I don't know if it's true or not, but that America put, pumps out more lawyers than the world combined. So it's like a lot of people from other countries come to America to go to law school and then they go back home and live it up. So you're a lot more valuable to the world with a degree. I mean, I like the world. 
I be trying to get away like Pac, you know, I be trying to get away. Instead of paying for school, I would like to buy some of those online courses. But the thing is, the school is cheap, it's free. So you ask me if school is worth it, it's free. It's just time. So it's like, you don't got to pay for nothing. You just got to give your time. I got an interview tomorrow. Damn, decent mechanic, 40 to 50 an hour. It's the journeyman wage. So we're making journeyman wages at 17, at 19 years old. How do you care? I think Carrot's like 19 years old. I'm going to do crypto and Mary Jane on the side. 18. You see? That's why it's important for me to get this foundation together so motherfuckers can thrive like yo ass, my dude. You see? This little 18 year old motherfucker making grown man ass money. And and we can learn about Australia. Whenever I remember when I was traveling in Asia and like I was meeting so many people who who were either coming from Australia or going to Australia just to work. They're like, oh, we're gonna go pick fruit for $20 an hour. I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, we go to Australia, we fucking camp, we stay in these little camp houses, and we just pick fruit every day for like a month, and we save up all our money, and then we go traveling for, you know, six more months with the money they make. It is not free everywhere, I think, so. yeah. Well, General education is, is usually free. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's free out there in Australia. It's less and less free out here in the U.S. There's a lot of useless information, but you got to take that useless information and get everything you can get out of it. You know, so that's why I say like science. If you can do the science classes... You know, versus economics classes, you're in better shape. But in order to compete with the greatest, you know, you got to take economics. You got to take macro, micro. You got to get into all the fundamentals of what society is made out of. The reason I push entrepreneurship over job or school is because I've done both. That I own my own business and my way. Yeah, right. Entrepreneurship is hell a lot better than than uh, working for someone. But sometimes you don't have the opportunity to start your own business and you need money right away. So you need a job. The thing is, is a lot of people get stuck on their job because they get comfortable. But the idea is to stay, keep your Keep your marbles rolling, yo. Don't think you have to do just one thing. You've got so many things you can do. Live like a king. I could just study what I want. I can make it twenty dollars mining a day. Yup. That's dope. See, that's that Australian lifestyle. See, we got two Aussie motherfuckers that. That's one thing I love about backpacking, you guys, because I meet a lot of Australians and I'll be inspired by Australians just because of your like free will. And you motherfuckers are not racist. Australians are not racist. I mean, you know, they got some history of, of treating the Aborigines bad. But they say they stink. I mean, and I put myself in the situation. Damn, if I had a bum ass nigga in my presence, I'm going to be like, go away, my dude. You stink. Take a shower. Go swim in the creek. Hey, sometimes I don't. Hey, the Aussies are dope, though. I want to go to Australia. I've never been. And when is that Stoner Fest? Man, give me a reason to fucking go, my dude. I need to get the fuck out of here. 
the crazy shit is I got the money, I just don't got the time. And when I had the time, I didn't have the money. We have so much love for dark-skinned people, man. Honestly, I have so many black friends, and I love them all. If people respect me, I respect them back. As simple as that. And that's the common ideology of Australian people. It's beautiful. Thanks for sharing that, Carrot, because you are a fucking young man. And for you to have that love, that simple love in your heart this young, oh, man. You guys are so much more ahead of us in terms of, like, loving each person, using empathy in each person. Like, I think I've seen the president of Australia go live t trying to get the um i think it was a bunch of australians in indonesia that was about to be um capital punishment killed uh i don't remember where in indonesia but they got took to an island and the the, the president went live telling them to spare their lives and la, la 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 i'm like the president of australia is begging indonesia to spare their lives like, that was just so much compassion. Should make it next year for sure. I can't this year because I have some more cash than I will be more to plan. Oh, wow. I saw that man with Malcolm Turnbull. Might have been Tony. I don't know. No, it was a lot of people. It was like six people that was um, put to death by the uh, shooting by gunshots. They lined them up. It was like six Australians or some shit like that. It was like a, a drug ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was. It was a couple years ago. I'm not sure how long. It was a while ago. But I was just bringing up just the compassion of the president going live. Obama barely spoke on Trayvon, and when he did speak on Trayvon, he was just like, "Let justice run its course." You know, there's nothing we can do. Let justice run its course. First he's like Trayvon could be a son of his and then next thing you know he's saying let justice run its course. That shit just didn't make sense. Didn't make no sense. Man. I'll be watching the uh, video reactions. I'll be wanting to do some video reactions. I just don't be wanting to take other people's lane, you know. I'm like, that's their lane. Let them do their thing, you know. Let them get their money. I don't want to rain on their parade, come in there and take their job. See, like, you don't even know what you're talking about. You never heard of this rapper before. You never heard of a rap song that rapped those two words just like that. Say it over like that. Why is your chain so tight? You wearing a fucking choker, my nigga. That's some new shit. We didn't do that shit back in the day. It was all about your chain hanging low, swinging by your nutsacks, nigga. Not even wearing these tight ass chokers, looking like a leash and shit. Let me grab this nigga and throw him down to the ground, buy his chain and drag him around like a bitch. Call this nigga Rapunzo, yanking him out of a building, dragging him by his hair and shit. No. I like this little gay ass bitch. It's a bunch of these little. No, I don't mean to say gay, but a bunch of these little funny rappers making good money. This is one of them. More attention than any year president and have given. Fuck yeah. Whack ass president, too. Whack ass president. 
I think it does. It's just the most stupid people that have learned to make responsibilities for their mistakes and stop doing the same shit. Some people throw too much trust on unrealistic expectations, especially American people. American people throw way too much trust on unrealistic expectations like guns. You know, the homie Zeke came up with a good one. He was like, he was like, um, I think he lives in uh, 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 Wyoming or, no, 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 my bad. He lived Idaho, he lived Idaho. And he said, out in Idaho, everyone's allowed to carry a gun. Yeah, I didn't know you were still here, Zeke. So, I'll tell him what you said. He's like, everyone's allowed to carry a gun concealed. So the good guys have guns, the bad guys have guns, and when the, gag, the bad guys know that the good guys have guns, so they think twice before they do anything. Out in California, the bad guys are the only ones with the guns, and they know the good guys don't have a gun. So they can go and stick you up knowing that you don't have a gun because it's a you're a law-abiding citizen and it's against the law for you to carry a gun so i'm gonna get your ass so i was like oh damn that shit makes a lot of sense so he's like yeah you more safer out here because you know everybody knows that you got a gun so you'll be way hesitant to do some shit knowing that <laughs> All of these freaking citizens got guns. They're all safer. You know, they, they hey, one thing's for, uh, I can, I'm not even gonna talk, but, you know, I have a feeling it's safer for, for them. I have a feeling minority people still get the short end of the stick though. <laughs> We sure do. What's up, Auntie? What you up to? I'm busy. I'm on the phone. What you need me for? Three dollars. What? What what you got for me? What of these to have more laws or a lot more crime? LA, New York, Chicago. And they put a lot more people in jail. But would you say they kill a lot more people over there? But they kill a lot of people in California too. You know, the, whoa, I'm trying to, uh, what was that? You don't get no anonymous bank account. Come on, that crypto shit is on lock right now. So. The people need machine guns. The people need to have what the government has. 
True. All right. So it's a snowball effect. It's pros and it's 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 the uh, cause and effect. Right. It's the cause and effect. So it's it's always been a saying that we need what the government has. If the government has machine guns, then we need machine guns. Okay. I think that's a, a good argument. But the problem is, is that like when you compare this country to other countries, right? Let's say countries that don't have guns and they've been around longer than us and they're well developed than us. Like, let's say Norway. Like, cops don't fucking have guns on their hips in fucking Norway. So, I mean, high-level cops do, like sergeants and stuff, but, you know, and, but they, I just, what I'm getting to is guns, is the, is the repercussions of taking and taking and taking. When you take so much, you need a gun to keep what you took, right? So, like, if I broke in your house and I took all your stuff and I lived in your house, nigga, I feel that you might come back. So, I'm going to need a gun to shoot your ass when you come back to try to take your shit, you know? And if you try to revoke my Fifth Amendment to get rid of my gun, there's no way you're going to do that. Because I need my gun. To shoot your ass. So when you come get your shit. And. Slavery. I think has a lot to do with it too. For example. When you had. A backyard. Of a hundred slaves. And. All you. All you had was a gun. You know. To protect yourself. There's no way you're going to give up your gun. You ain't going to even walk around. You ain't going outside. You're not doing nothing without your gun. So the gun has become like. A necessity. In the hands of an American. And they will use any excuse. To justify the necessity of carrying this gun. And it's a bunch of necessities. Then you got, oh, you going over to other countries and stealing resources, setting up a coup, bombing, raiding. Like, and so then you got to have bigger guns protecting your borders. So just in case they try to get revenge, you know, because we don't take no revenge. You can't get revenge on us. So I can't replace life. No, nope. I cannot replace life to take our things. Bundy Ranch is an example. The government does like to take things. Um, we we allowed the government to get too strong. Um, we allow too much shit. I mean, too much. Vegas shooting would never kill that many people if assault rifles were banned. Assault rifles is not the problem. You can do the same with the handgun. Vegas shooting wasn't even a machine gun. It was a modified freaking AR. I don't know, I can't kill 97 people with the handgun. Semi-automatic. Yeah, those bullets that that motherfucker was pumping out was just tearing arms off. Motherfuckers was bleeding to death from shrapnel. That shit was the fucking... You know, I got an opinion on that shit. I seen, I've been to places where the cops didn't have guns. And I was in Vietnam one night in the north. And that's the conservative part, you know. 
in the north where it's supposed to be communist and freaking all the bad shit we fought against during Vietnam. And the cop goes in the club, right? Turns off the music. Tries to get everybody out the club. Right? So everyone's like, talking shit, you know, whining. And uh, the uh, we get outside and uh, we all outside and the cop is out there blowing his whistle and shit. And uh, this, this dude, this Westerner, this white dude takes the cop's hat off and puts it on his head. And he's like dancing around like a freaking retard. So the cop gets pissed off, right? That fool pulls out his stick and whacks the kid. Whack! Hits him across his back with the stick. And takes his hat back and walks away. Everybody's laughing. Like that shit was funny as fuck. Man, that's so much better than a cop having a gun and then him drawing down on a freaking kid because he pulled his hat off. Take away card. Wait, did you just use a fallacy? A car can take out hundreds of people too. What? To take away cars? Zeke, you can't. You can't. That's a slippery slope fallacy and reasoning. You can't use that. Come on. It's not a tool. Cops have low IQ. If people start using cars to commit mass murder, then you can bring the combo up. And drive through a crowd. At the end of the day, because there's so many guns in the US, there ain't no getting rid of guns. Hey, tomorrow I'm gonna make a video of my AR. I'll make a video. It's not here. I got it uh, somewhere else. You know, that's. I like. I think. I think Zeke has a point. You know, um, make money. I think Zeke's best argument is um, is a great argument. It's we need to have what the government has. And let me let me tell you why, my friend. Let me let me remind you of a very 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 important concept. It's called revolution. And we always got to be able to keep the government on the heels of a revolution. And that's what gives us our power. It's not power. It's just leverage. You know what I mean? So. Um, in my heart. On my surface. We don't need guns, but when it comes down to a revolution, we need guns. We need the same guns they got, right, Zeke?
with the same guns they got. That's the best argument. That's all you got to say. Getting into any of the other talks. Everybody got some, some comeback for that. But being a... I think you're a, a progressive conservative. Zeke. And I think you uh, are a little more, I think you a little more progressive than the average progressive conservative. You might be a little, you know, from because of where you from and because of your beautiful family, I will say you definitely are uh, more towards the center more towards the center but you do have some conservative uh, values but you might have the right mixture my friend because we need a little bit of both you know and once you have a family and once you go through the things that you went through in LA I respect 100% the choices you made to be where you at to accomplish the things you accomplished Zeke moved from L.A. I don't mean to throw you out there, but Zeke moved from L.A. and moved out to uh, Idaho. Less government, protect life, good, given, right. So, not by government. Right. Especially when the government isn't working for everybody. You know, the government is working for the 1%. You know, they're working for the hierarchy. So... Oh, yeah, make money. You said you're from L.A. too, right? Did you ever? Yeah, I did. Good looking out, uh, Mal. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards um, Thrive. So, like, Thrive Foundation, um... I like the way Thrive feels. I like the whole definition of Thrive. I like the, the feeling of Thrive. I like um, the energy you have to put into thriving. I like the outcome of thriving. I like the idea how you can be a, 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 a thriver in hibernation. You know what I mean? So like basically like a plant that's growing and then it's just like not getting enough water and it's stagnant then all of a sudden the elements the temperature the weather the water comes along and just boom feeds the plant and it's just going it's just taking off like a beanstalk so yeah i like thrive i really like thrive so i'm leaning towards thrive uh, we came up with some words to uh, represent Thrive um, and in terms of like a, um, an acronym, um, teaches, helps, reach out, volunteer, educate. Somebody came up with that one. Um, so Thrive will be a nonprofit. How you spell it? Yeah, just like that. Thrive. Um, and then I... I I kind of put this one together with the help of everybody. It was a, uh, it was a uh, uh, travels, traveling helps rapid improvement visions and educations, something like that. Traveling helps rapid improvement. Wait, rapid improves rapidly improves visions and education. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling comfortable with it. You know, we can always change up the acronym, the meaning of that. Most importantly, I think the name is, is feeling pretty solid. And then I can go Thrive um, Foundation, Thrive LLC. You know, any any of that is, is sounds um, acceptable. You know, I like I like Thrive Foundation, the Thrive Foundation. 
getting them government grants and they just dumping money and I just can just spend it on the community and just change people's lives. You know, I think traveling is the key to changing lives. Um, you know, everybody got their opinion on, on what they think changes lives. And everybody is different, that's for sure. Because it ain't going to work for everybody. But um, I'm willing to to put some work into the experiment. So... Would you would you say my bad nonprofit that does what? Oh, okay, okay, I'll tell you. It uh helps uh people to travel. So basically, I'm I'm gonna hopefully be able to pay a hundred percent expenses for people to travel. And I don't mean travel like luxury travel. I mean like budget backpack. I don't mean like sleeping in tents either. I mean like staying in hostels, staying in um, 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 dorms, staying in um, bed and breakfasts from guest houses, some hotels, you know, you share a room. How am I going to get it started? Well, I'm going to just do all the work. I'm going to do the, um, I'm going to do the, um, the business, I'm gonna do the LLC. So first I gotta come up with the name. I gotta do the paperwork on that. I gotta fill out the article so I can, you know, officially have the LLC. I gotta mail that in, I gotta pay for it. And then I can start to build the, the foundation. I gotta do the business plan. With a business plan, you can get um, grants. You could get um, loans. You can get a bunch of things, especially if you fall under nonprofit um, taxation status. And I appreciate it. This is going to be fun. And most importantly, like this is how I came up with the idea of 420 Real Talk. It's because like this damn freaking um, um, YouTube channel. I'm like, man, I don't have the 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 energy or the charisma or all of the things necessary to be this great youtuber so i'm like before i even like try to get my hopes up or try to keep the ball rolling let me come up with a real plan on what i want to do with this youtube thing because all of a sudden i start to realize i don't even have a name like i'm calling myself kenneth roberson and then I'm like, oh, wait, I can't do that. So then I'm calling myself Crypto Ken. And then I find myself slipping, like smoking weed with my uniform on and motherfuckers just calling my job. I'm just like, man, this shit takes fucking work. So I'm like, I'm like, you know, what, what do I really want to do with this? And what I really want to do with this is start a nonprofit and uh, bust it off. What up, B? I see you. We're talking about that Thrive Foundation. We're working on this new foundation called the Thrive Foundation. I was just explaining to 420, you know, what's cracking. And uh, the other homie, what's his name? My Miles. But, uh, yeah, I suck at fucking sounding out names, but I appreciate all the feedback, my dude. You will be a big YouTuber, LL, I predict. Hey, dude, motivational speaker, but I want to be, I want to have a purpose, though. I want to be on track. I want to know what I'm doing, and what I want to do is I want to travel the world, and I want to sponsor people to travel the world and share their experience and I want I want to follow them once they come home and see how they do their lives when they come home whether they get into um, um, their own business or 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 get a good job or go to school or you know no telling you know, I just feel like once you get home the world is yours it doesn't matter man we are all a team. Let it happen gradually. You got the direction. And that's all that matters. We are all here to help. 
Hey, that dude, that dude Crypto know what he's talking about. He young as fuck, but he'll check you real quick. Earlier, we was talking about doing drugs and inspiring kids, like, in the same time frame. And he's like, yo, bro, I don't think you'll be such a good influence on kids talking about all that drug use you admitted to already. <laughs> Damn, crypto, give me a break. You fucking sound like a cop. <laughs> but he was just being honest, you know. That's all good. Yo, Trayvon got served. Yeah, I kind of read a couple. I'm not. I got a. I got, you know, some paperwork right here. That's actually the paperwork that my girl um, printed out that I have to fill out for that big connect lawsuit. Because I had X amount of dollars in there, she's saying that um, they want cases like mine. You know, they want the cases that that was like over the 100,000 mark. And um, I wasn't even really interested to tell you the truth because I got enough on my plate. It means more regulation of crypto, right? It does. But you know what's happening is just that freaking there's just so many schemes out here right now. To where it's like some gotta happen because motherfuckers think they could come up with a new crypto every day. A bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit, and they fake it till they break it, and they come out there with fake white papers, fake ideas, fake board members, fake this, fake that, fake mama, fake daddy, fake name. You, yeah, these dudes are professionals. After actual schemes. Not the promoters, yeah. I think that's... I think that the um, promoters didn't even really know what they was getting into. I think out of all the promoters, probably only one of them had any type of communication with the inside. Or not even the inside, but just someone higher up. Someone who he knew that was affiliated with the inside. Yeah. Right. No, the promoters shouldn't. They shouldn't be fucked with, homie. So how are you going to start this foundation? Yeah, so that's a good question. So first I'm doing the paperwork, right? Because I want it to be legit. I want it to have um, tax exemption status. I want it to have a real name. I want you to be able to look up. So let's say you was a, a sponsor. I want you to be able to go to the freaking government website and see that the, that the company really exists and that it's a real foundation. So once I can get that status right, then I'll start to collect sponsors and collect donations just by soliciting to listening like through this web through through youtube this is all i know right now this is where it all started this is the whole idea just resonated from here about two weeks ago three weeks ago at the most i was just like kind of worried like what am i gonna do with this damn page the uh, subscribers was just climbing, climbing, climbing. I'm like, man, I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers and I, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. So I'm like trying to figure out what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So the foundation just start coming to me, coming to me, coming to me. And I start throwing out ideas and 
man, I was, I've been getting so much positive feedback on it to where I'm like, yeah, I got to move it to the next step, move it to the next step, move it to the next step. So once I get the paperwork right, I will then collect money and then I will choose uh, a sponsoree. So basically someone I feel like that's a leader and that's going to thrive and who's going to do well. So someone who can be responsible enough to share their uh, experience with an audience who will be um, us, YouTube video watchers and sponsors. And um, we could follow along on their adventure, feeling proud that they're, you know, enjoying their self, doing their thing. And then uh, is that a fact? I hope it's a fact. You know, I mean, it's just talk, my dude. This is entertainment. But I'm putting one foot in front of the other because I want to leave behind a, a legacy. I want a bridge. I want a bridge. Like, I want to say, like, yo, this is in honor of, you know, Crypto Ken. You know, this nigga made this. He, like, started this foundation and the people came together and named this bridge in, in, in memory of um, Crypto Ken, you know, for coming up with this foundation and changing the life of thousands of kids. You know, how do you know that man's name is Nick? You sent up the donation of thing YouTuber so you could donate when you lie. Or you know you will get them put to use and believe in you. Hey, good looking. That's that's some good advice. Um, yeah. So that's that's what I've been thinking about. Like when I go live I can start up the uh, monetization, you know. I could tell people like, yo, um, you know, share. This is all for a good cause. Um, if you know somebody that might be interested, it's just it's concrete jail. Hell yeah, it's a concrete jail out here, Z. Talking about cryptolism. Cryptolium. Cryptolium. The channel is interaction between the fan base, and I have no reason to lie about this channel. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's fun too. Because actually, like, to be honest with you, I wouldn't have never came up with any ideas if it wasn't for y'all. This dude, Zeke, right here is the real homie right here. So, like, I let. I mean, Zeke can talk about how he feel about guns. I love to hear you guys go back and forth about it. But like like Carrot, for example. Carrot is, I've been knowing Carrot for a minute. I got Carrot's back no matter what. Crypto, you, you seem real res reasonable. You ain't talking crazy madness. You, you seem to, you know, be real sensible. And then Zeke... Ziki, me and Ziki got a little history together already. So, like, man, this is this is family debating a serious issue right here. You know, this this is a good conversation about the guns and stuff. Yeah, it's 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 hard to come back to visit. It's like a dream when you come back here. all over but the thing is nature is so nice but the concrete jungle is mayhem the concrete jungle is mayhem what's up that guy yeah 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 facts i want a bridge also <laughs> hey the bridge is gonna be there longer than your little badass kids <laughs> Run some kind of charity lottery using smart contracts and this profitability. Tell him I got dropped. All right. Back for a second. I'm almost off for another hour. Then where are you at? 
working this late, getting lunch this late. Only time I ask to put to the end of the convos when it goes into too many loops. Oops, a few conversation that brings both sides so they can hear each other's voices. My business by your structure, I can help you with the nonprofit don't or what up Jonathan? Yeah, that's what's necessary. At a mom and pop janitorial place in the IE in the Inland Empire. Oh. That's cool. Um, what did we get on? Oh, you missed a deep conversation. We got in about guns. We were talking about how we need guns because the cops have guns and we don't need guns because they okay, we we, we don't need full we don't need automatic machine guns or semi automatic machine guns because if we did or not because if we didn't have them, then we wouldn't have had so many people die in Vegas. And we had a bunch of serious points, good points on both sides of the argument to where I was, I'm just like in the middle of it. Like, yeah, that's, that's a good point too. But, uh, and I gave my two cents, like saying, I don't think we need guns, but when it comes down to it, we always got to be ready for a revolution. And the only way to be ready for a revolution is to have a machine gun. <sighs> I got to be careful talk, saying revolution when being live. I'm sure they got filters on the shit where they could pick up keywords. Just in case you're reaching a mass audience trying to strike up the R word. I bet you we can't even say the R word. You gotta call it something else. <laughs> hey, that shit is not a joke, I man. It's that this is not a joke. This is this is mass data collection at its finest. Man, I'll be liking that post Malone. I just be wanting to sing. Post and long be making me want to sing. I like that song, I Fall Apart. That shit is hard. He get his heart broke by his, by, by his, 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 his lover. And he just talks about how it's fall apart. Hey, but, uh, fuck, last night I was up late till 2 o'clock. But you know what? This is constructive time being spent because I'm getting a lot done. I was telling my dad, if I'm able to work on a foundation before I work on a family, I am winning. Hey, much love, crypto. Deep in his hurt me scar. Yeah. There's so many tears going to my brain. I know three shots like it's Nova came. Ooh, I fall apart. Down to the core. Ooh, I fall apart. Down to my core. Like no before. Surprise when you caught me off guard. With all this damn jewelry I bought. And this one shorty I thought. Uh, the liquor I pour. 
tell it when you want me to go. Everybody told me so. Feeling like I sold my soul. The devil came in the form of a whore. Devil in the form of a whore. You said it. You said it. No, baby. You said it. Hey. You better. Here we go. Ooh, I fall apart. Hey. I don't even sing, but this dude Post Malone make me sing. I don't even, I don't even do this shit, but down to my core. Didn't know before. Surprise when you caught me off guard. All this damn jewelry I done bought. You was my shorty, I thought. That shit is hard, though. Hey, but uh. This shit's gonna happen, and we all gonna take a trip together. Like, I have a feeling that the numbers is gonna grow so fast once you, once people see the vision come to life and they see people going and people coming back and being leaders and being a part of the organization and just giving back and growing and just changing the minds of, 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 of robots, homie, because let's face it, we straight robots in this motherfucker. And even like, I have a feeling, watch, you could you could mark my words. I have a feeling it's gonna be harder to find the person that's willing to go than it will be to get the money. Because motherfuckers are scared. Like you know it takes courage. Like we had a, a long conversation yesterday on courage and, and, and how much courage it would take just to go. And I'm like, yeah, you going you gonna to need courage, you know, because money is going to be there. You're going to have to come up with the courage. So, you know, I just barely thought about that on how hard it's going to be to get people with courage to go. But, uh, shoot, Bridget, Bridget might come up with the courage. And, uh, who else? I think we was talking to someone. I'm already scared. And yeah, it's definitely a sacrifice. I have to share some of my Facebook friends with you that did it. Um... And you can see their pictures and experience a little bit. And uh, and I'm sure it will give you confidence and, and ignore the, the negative things. And to be honest with you, I, I have to be real with you. When my daughter turns 18, I, I hope that I encourage her to be able to take this adventure on her own with no one all by herself just free yourself enjoy yourself and i've seen so many girls doing that young girls and i admired them it was like it was almost like being in the presence of a of a celebrity you know a celebrity that wasn't yet a celebrity but it was something about them that told you hey this person has a aura, a aura, you know, a energy, a light, a gift, a promise that's going to happen. So that tool, that tool was like, I looked at them as being like pure accomplishments. And I still keep in touch with a lot of people that I meet overseas and Sure enough, they're they're fucking leaders. They're accomplishing every dream they set themselves out to do. Feeling like a she wolf out here. Yeah. Yeah, you freaking probably are. <laughs> uh wait. If you had gotten this rolling in time for that crazy bull run. 
you could have raised big money. Yeah, right. And 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 I see that happening again in the future, Scott. Hey, thanks for pointing that out. Um, it will happen again, and 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 you know, people with crypto are very generous. That's why a lot of people put their wallets up. I mean, they ain't putting their wallets up because nobody's giving them crypto. You know, they putting their wallets up because they getting crypto. And you know, that's that's not my you know the dope shit. Is the money is not going to be for me. So I think to prove that to the audience is I got to do all the paperwork first. And then once I do all the paperwork and it's all legal and I got the website up and I got the the, the article up on freaking the federal website and everything is dope. Everything's in order. People going to be like, oh, this is serious. This is really this is really serious. I'm like in the in the good thing is you can start small, you can start medium, you can start big. There's so much room for growth. You know, I, I imagine before you know it, it would be like hundred people at a time. You know, that'd be freaking insane. I mean, hundred big mouth badass kids, not kids, but young people, mobbing. <laughs> taking over the dope thing is everybody has to make videos like you gotta make videos so we want to see like where you eat where you sleep the bathrooms because the bathrooms is a little weird around the world you know so we want to see all that weird stuff we want to see uh what you eat you know what you do for the day you know where you volunteer what type of uh, religious temples or churches or monuments you went to? What type of sightseeing tours you did? Um, I remember going to cooking school. I remember going like on high rope day. Um, every day we tried to do something. Rafting. Freaking. And you just... You just got to film as much as you could. Go as live as many times as you could. Freaking post as many videos as you could. Build your following. And I guarantee when you get home, you'll have like a major following. A major impact on the foundation. And uh, you'll be inspired to... to change, to do whatever you want. Zip, yeah, I did the zip lining. That's what it was called, exactly. I didn't do no sky jumping, no sky diving, or no bungee jumping. Damn, hang gliding sounds fun. I like hang gliding. Just worried about landing that mug. <laughs> Yeah, you do. I seen one of my boys. He just went skydiving recently. Since you ain't no supervisor, someone back to come back with the girls gone wild type tape. <laughs> Since you ain't someone back. Yeah, I think I know where you was going with that. So, right. So, yeah, that gives me an excuse to go. And like set up a, a safe house, you know, like, you know, get another perspective on the whole mission. And then I could come home because they're going to be gone for months. So I can go with them and like set up safe house, whatever, come back home, you know, do what I got to do back home. And then when it comes time to like re regroup up and get ready to come back here, let's say three months later. Then I'll fly back out there, get some more footage. Yeah, that's a good idea, make money. I could see that all day. What up, Lemonless? I think you just got in here. We was just about to uh, jump out. Uh, Crypto, the YouTuber, got a 30,000 donation one time. What? Definitely some generous people in YouTube. You high, motherfucker. You out your mind. What up, Nash? 
You thinking about going on a trip? Man. Yo, uh, Limitless, I'll tell you, we've been talking about making this nonprofit organization, right? So real quick, since I, you know, started this channel, I didn't know where I was going with it. But a couple weeks ago, I came up with the idea of doing a nonprofit where we can, um, um, where I can collect sponsors to sponsor uh, people to travel around the world uh, for like two to three months at a time. That person documents, films it, um, shows you all the ins and outs of the trip. Um, you as a sponsor will feel like, oh, you're doing such a great thing for people, for young people to experience, you know, the world. I feel like by doing that, you open their mind up to a whole way of thinking besides the American way. Um, you know, we need a little bit of diversity in thoughts. And I came up with the name Thrive. Now, we put up, we're trying to make it an uh, acronym and, and give wor words to every letter to spell out what we, what we wanted to say. And we nailed down a bunch of words that, that we comfortable with for now. And um, it's exciting. It's really exciting. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Um, we look forward to seeing you in more uh, conversations, adding your valuable feedback. Uh, what else? I think we still got... It's still live. Yeah, man, I know. You've been talking. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what's up. Really a different world view. You're only young ones. That's the truth. It's a dope idea. Hey, I appreciate it, bro. Man, leaving your, your, in, your input on it. It's definitely something that... Um, Started out as a small thought, and it's just snowballing, snowballing, snowballing. So um, I was really struggling a couple days to let my mind just start flowing, and I felt like it should have came more natural. Like I notice when things that I do is sort of like, it's like in school, you know, when you got a paper to do. And and you wait, you procrastinate, and then the last night, nigga, that shit just be like flowing. You just blow out. You just blow out the whole paper in one night, you know, or speeches, like a speech class. And you got a speech, you're like, fuck, I don't know what I'm going to do. But then you get up there and you just fucking perform a hell of a speech. Well, I got lucky like that through college. Actually, you know, the Waves platform. Wait, that sounds familiar. Hopefully, you got some Waves. Limitless. Two top picks this year. I don't have either. I should have both of those make money. Fuck. You got the Dragon Chain. And the uh, waves. What the hell is this? Oh, we don't want to hear that. Oh, dragon chain. I'll ch I'll check out some dragon chain tomorrow. And some waves. I think I might have some waves. But we'll see. Yeah, you are a freaking financial advisor. Dope ways is dope, man. Can check out track card. Just a man. It's also a sleeping trying trying to get that master note. I announced we're going to heaven. So um, I heard about that master note. You don't have to keep your computer on, or do you? Cause I, I think I think that one you had to keep your computer on. I'm not sure, but leaving your computer on could be a pain in the ass. I mean, like it just depends on what you um, 
on what you um, putting out there. Seventy thousand a year. How much does it cost to start though? Does it cost? I think it. <clears throat> I think because the price went down, I forgot which coin you need. But because the price went, oh, I think you told me about it. Limitless back in the day. The price went down from back in the day when we talked about it from a a, a hundred or a hundred and seventy dollars or dollar seventy per coin. I think now it's like seventy seventy dollars per coin. Nah, I heard. I think it's like ten thousand to start, cause that wouldn't be right for a thousand dollars and make that sounds like big connect and you know whenever something sounds like big connect you gotta run but i see you need a thousand coins no you need ten thousand coins 600 per coin I think that's a different master node. I think you can master node with a bunch of different coins. If I'm not mistaken. That that will probably explain it. But um, can you please donate some BTC to my wallet? I can't feed my kids. Oh man. Nash, Nash. That sucks. Do you guys believe stuff like that? Stop playing on the internet then. <laughs> That's a good one. Because I was thinking like, damn, what do you say? Good thing you're in here. You came up with the perfect thing to say. Why are you playing on the internet then? Yeah, that shit was funny. That shit was stupid funny. My internet is free, but you're wasting your time, though. You could be... You could be promoting something. Like, that's the quickest way to make money right now on the internet, is promoting something. Posting that shit everywhere. I'm trying to find help. The new things is crypto pen and <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. I don't mean to laugh because I've been hungry before. I've been hungry before. My mom had to make it happen. She had to come up with the idea right now. And her idea was probably wasn't the best thing, but oh man, I don't know what to say. I should just like, I think that means it's time to go. Look, look at my eyes. Oh. And then too, you know how it goes. The, um, the, um, The trolls never have a fucking picture. That shit is like consistent. 
I think I had one dude like troll me with the picture and I went to his page and he had a video up and I commented something on his video but then something told me nah I don't do that I said something like vulgar or something and I'm like nah I don't do that so I went back and deleted it hopefully before he's seen it but I think he's seen it because I sent the message to him or something and um I was like, oh, that dude ended up being my friend after that. Like, because I erased it and I'm like, you know, sorry, bud, you know, thanks for the feedback. Have a great day. He's like, he ended up being my friend and he like comes on the live streams and like comments on my phone, on my videos. And so it's like anyone who doesn't have uh, a picture is a real troll. People who have pictures just are giving their opinion. No, I'm joking. I don't know. Got a heck of Bitcoin. Hell yeah, you do. Right on. I got, I I, if I do a consolidation, I was just thinking the other day, someone was asking me how many, how much coin am I holding? So I was like, man, I'm holding so many little stupid random coins that, you know, just add um, diversity to the account. But at the end of the day, it's just coins. So I was thinking that um, if I was to cash them out or cash them all into um, into Bitcoin, I would probably only have just over two Bitcoin. So I got fucked over with BitConnect, of course. And then I got fucked over with um, Devor. And I was had to think about what made me do that, Devor. And I was thinking if I got in early, I could get my money and get out. And then I got so much good advice from everybody. Everybody was giving me good advice like, don't fuck with that. Don't fuck with this. Don't fuck with that. Uh, nah, I don't think he's guilty. I think he's just a promoter. I don't think promoters should be held accountable for uh, the lending website. Yeah, that's... That's including like all the coins though. So in order to get that, I got to sell all the coins, you know, got to cash them all out. But, you know, last year, fuck, I was sitting on like, and then most, most of that Bitcoin I had, I had to buy. Like I had bought a half a Bitcoin at 35, no, at, at 8,000. I bought, um, I think I bought a half a Bitcoin at about 12,000. So I'm still down like a motherfucker. But see, that's why I don't even watch it every day. Somebody was talking about looking at their Bitcoin three times a day. Right? I put some money in Litecoin for a month to see what happens. Didn't get mad at me if it goes south, but at least it ain't no scam. It's been good for me. Yeah, and then the little money that it did go down, it wasn't. This wasn't much. I think if a month ago it was. It was probably at two twenty five a month ago. Let's see, it's going to crash. I pull all my money out before, and you know who else pulls all their money out? Freaking. The homie, um, 
Ziki. Tell me Ziki don't leave no money in freaking in Bitcoin. He's like, fuck a Bitcoin. So, I mean, he knows what's up. Yeah, he keep all his money in fiat. So, Zeke been around a while, too. He got hella fire rigs popping at his crib. Um, Zeke knows crack. So, it's kind of hard to uh, not consider that advice. But, you know, the good thing is I, I'm not going to put no money in here that I can't afford to lose. And that's just it. So my idea is that I hold it for two years, five years, and I'll be sitting fat by that time. So I hope that's the case. Yeah, it's all fake. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So. It's why is it it's tether stable at a dollar. You think it might drop? I mean, anything could happen with this market. That's why I'm like, I mean, we knew that from the beginning. We knew the shit was, everything was freaking vulnerable from jumpity jump. So, we just have to accept that and um, just deal with it. I mean. I'm not even really tripping off of, um, I can't, I can't, I got to take, I got to be more um, active about stuff that I can control, so that's why I'm focusing on this, thrive, thrive for your life, that's another big connect lick, I just seen that, all the new company dropped their CPOs, what? The auditing company drop down from the CEOs. Yeah. I like LSD. I haven't done that shit since freaking long time. I got some mushrooms. I got some mushrooms. I had these mushrooms for like four months. Uh, I think longer. Yeah. I got some DMT. <laughs> Trying to blow your mind. I have some real LSD, LSD gel if you need that. I need that. That sounds fun. I like I like psychedelics. That shit is fun. I'm trying to have an ego death. Yeah. She said gel LSD. I've never. Oh, you talking about gel tabs. I heard of gel tabs. To the CEO, that affects you. See, there's always so much freaking drama. All right, Bridget. Well, shoot, good talking with you. We'll talk soon. Have a good night. Dude, Coinbase is closing accounts too. What? Yeah, Bridget. Bridget's gonna be one of the first uh, spectators to uh, 
one of the spe or not spectators sponsories to go. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I got confused. I thought you said your boy is here. What the hell happened? But um, let me be that side dude. Hey, you guys are gonna meet her. She's gonna go. I have a feeling that she's gonna be one of the first sponsories that um, that conquers the world. And she's gonna document it with all type of gnarly footage and show us what's up. Let me see. No pay tax. Where I live, you don't pay that shit for crypto, no laws regarding it. Shoot, where you live at in the jungle? Just messing. You out your mind? J. Cole, who's J. Cole? Gonna conquer the world with her too if she find you. and she don't have to she got a beautiful heart don't you know that uh, beauty is only skin deep and beauty is only in the eye of the beholder so that's always subjective it does take a lot of sacrifices the sacrifices that you have to make to leave are i think they're important it, i i kind of describe it as like one of those spiritual moments like where they say like you know when i i can't think of the stories from the bible but where everything is taken away from one of the dudes and like moses or something one of those dudes and even his kids like his kids was taken away and he was just stripped of all his resources by God and it was like a test to his testament of the Lord or some crazy things so I mean it's like that it's like you like stripping away everything you think what makes you who you are but in all reality it takes a while, but after a couple of days, you're like, everything that I have in my backpack is all I need for the next three months. And and then as you practice that, practice that, practice that, when you come back, you look at all that stuff and you're like, whoa, that's a game of crap. There is no God. <laughs> People without pictures on their profile pictures are trolls. Uh, that that's really Bridget's picture right there. She's uh she's I'm um, Hindu. So <clears throat> she's not really a troll. She's just part Hindu. It's one of her glamour pictures. Growing weed using all electricity. New way of growing weed using all electricity versus electricity and water where you don't need water. Whoa. That's state of the art. L A W L. What does that mean? Is that another one of your new acronyms? And then you put the picture of your nails. Oh, oh. And then the picture of your nails showing that you're... Have nails? It doesn't use more like... Okay, so I think you're probably just referring to probably like LED lights or something. 
tree a mining belt. Yeah, LEDs is done. That's what everybody's getting into nowadays. Shoot, if y'all want to mine, y'all need to get with uh, Zeke. Zeke said it's too late to mine because the cost of cards is too much until they come out with a new card. And if you could buy the new card right away, then you'll get your money back before it gets the uh, complication gets too hard. Have a drink, bro. That sounds fun. My keg is dead. So I have no beer in the house. Only if you can get it cheap, which would probably be impossible. Make me mad. Yeah, I need to get another keg for sure. Mining also cause yep, yeah, especially out here on the west coast. But where Zeke live, the power is cheap, so he's straight. Super cheap. Bridget Man, I got stupid drunk in Vegas and I got drunk in Mexico. I went to Mexico on Saturday night or something. And um My roommate outdid me. I went to bed before him. I'm like, I'm ready for bed. And it was like five in the morning. And he's like, I just bought another beer with this girl. I'm like, shoot, I am out. I am out. I am out. I am out. So I freaking broke out of there and left him there. That was fucking. I had a good night though. It was fun. Got a got a. Yeah. It was dope. But you know, you you only can do that for a little while before you gotta tap out. So I had to tap out. But uh, shoot. Yeah, I think I'm about to, my eyes is getting heavier and heavier all of a sudden. And then I got to get up in the morning. I got a bunch of things that I need to do for show. But um, good for looking out on all the, all the positive feedback and negative feedback. Nobody gives negative feedback. Everybody's super nice, understanding, sensitive. But um, one day at a time, we're going to get through this. I think in two months, yeah, I got to get the camera. I got to. It just is part of growth. You know, it's like one of those things that is growing. All right, for sure, for sure. We're about to get off too. So you have a good night, Bridget. If we can make money, you always come through, though. I appreciate it. The homie Zeke, that's one gangster right there. Zeke's up trading right now. You trading right now, Zeke? How's that bad boy treating you? Man, I recommend the RX100. Yep, that's what I'm going for. I watched a bunch of reviews. Wait, the RX100, that's, it's a thousand. It's not 400, it's a thousand. Yes, I mean, you imagine he is sweating over the next trade because that shit is hard work. 
GK use bots. No, that dude, that dude be recognizing the bots. But um, who's up in here? Crypto, Limitless, Make Money with Crypto, Nash, OG Ziki. I think that's about it. The bots always changing, yeah, they do. But um, all right, y'all, shoot, I'll let y'all know what I uh, come up with. How much I get done tomorrow? I'm gonna be working all day. I probably ain't gonna get that much done. But um, for sure, Limitless, we'll be in touch. Zeke, I'll holler. All right, Nash. I'm going to go hit the sack. Go get me some Kool-Aid before I go to sleep. Zeke will probably make a bot. We need to sell it for sure. I hope I can get on tomorrow. I need to come up with something cool to talk about tomorrow. But, all right, y'all. <sighs> Go lay out. Oh, I just got the new pillow, a new pillow, the Mr. Pillow. <laughs> no, not the Mr. Pillow, the My Pillow. I'm about to go hug my My Pillow. Ooh, it's gonna be ooh ooh. It's gonna be nice. All right, y'all. Peace.